Our knowledge extraction system is able to extract knowledge from large amounts of unstructured multilingual text data. Since contextualizing and discovering implicit connections within this knowledge is difficult, we aggregate and visualize the extracted knowledge along three dimensions, relational, temporal, and spatial. A Docker copy of the knowledge extraction system is made publicly available with detailed usage instructions. With our system, the entities, relations, and events can be extracted with a single script. Here, we also have a live demo of our system running. For example, you can take a news article from CNN and give it as input to our system. Our system extracts named entities, co-reference information, and link to the background knowledge base, in this case, Wikipedia, and nominal entities, relations between entities, and events from the raw text data. Lastly, time expressions are extracted and normalized. We perform temporal knowledge aggregation by creating a timeline. All events are organized in the timeline at the bottom according to their time arguments. The context of each event is shown above with triggers, arguments, and time expressions highlighted. The timeline can be searched along multiple dimensions. For example, if we want to search for events related to Slavyansk, where we find a transport event on April 16th and an attack event on April 12th, we can view the inline source document annotation for additional context. For events where no time argument is found, the publication date can be used to infer the date for time expressions. Beyond temporal ordering, we may want to find further evidence for a causal relation between these two events. For spatial knowledge aggregation, events are projected onto a world map where each dot represents an event. Users can apply the event type or language filter to narrow down the focus. Regional estimates of human values are obtained using the European Social Survey. Users can specify the human value type and apply the age or gender filters. Contextual information pops up when you click on the icon of an event. This spatial localization of entities and events can offer insight into causal relations between events when combined with the temporal information from the timeline, such as the transport and attack events in Slavians. Finally, we visualize the extracted entity relation network. The entities can be searched by name. Properties of entities are provided at the bottom while hovering over each node. Using this visualization, multi-hop paths between entities can be discovered as each node can be double-clicked to further explore its relations. This helps to find implicit connections between entities, such as the sponsorship relation between Russia and the Donetsk People's Republic, which is implied by pro-Russian separatists. Nodes that are not of interest can be easily removed from the network.